Welcome to the General Chemistry 1 class. This section is on stoichiometry, focusing on the mole concept part 2. In this lesson, we will calculate the mass of a given number of particles of an element or compound or vice versa. Let us recall that molar mass can serve as the unit factor for converting the mass to the number of moles or vice versa, and it can be seen on the slide presentation. The amount of a substance in moles can be related to the number of atoms, molecules, or any particles making up the substance using the Avogadro's constant. The Avogadro's constant N sub A is just the number with the unit per mole. And we all know that the value of it is 6.022 times 10 raised to the power of 23 mole raised to the power of negative 1. It only denotes that 6.022 times 10 raised to the power of 23 over 1 mole. Let's have sample problems. Example number one. What is the mass of 1.785 times 10 raised to the power of 21 sodium atoms? To solve the problem, let us set the equation. Or let us set up the equation. The mass of sodium atom is equal to the given value of 1.785 times 10 raised to the power of 21 sodium atoms divided by the Avogadro's constant. Note that at this point, the unit must be moles of sodium. Since the goal is to find the mass we need to multiply the number of moles by the molar mass of sodium, 22.99 grams per mole. Now, the unit moles of sodium is cancelled and grams of sodium is the unit left. Simplifying and by doing the operation, the equation will arrive to 0.06815 grams of sodium. For example number 2, what is the mass of 7.645 times 10 raised to the power of 22 calcium bromide formula units? Let us recall that the formula unit is the term used to refer to ionic compound, such as calcium bromide. To solve the problem, we need first to calculate the molar mass of the given compound. Calcium chloride consists of one calcium and two bromide atoms, or two bromine atoms, whose molar masses are 40.08 grams per mole and 79.90 grams per mole respectively. The molar mass then is equal to 1 times 40.08 grams per mole plus 2 times 79.90 grams per mole. Given a value of 199.88 grams per mole. Step number two. To solve for the mass of calcium bromide, let us divide the given 1.785 times 10 raised to the power of 21 calcium bromide formula units by the Avogadro's number constant, which is 6.022 times 10 raised to the power of 23 calcium bromide formula units per mole. Again, one mole of calcium bromide must be at the numerator and 6.022 times 10 raised to the power of 23 calcium bromide formula units. To change the unit of the given quantity to moles, from here, we need to convert 
the mass of calcium bromide by multiplying the molar mass of 199.88 grams per mole. In this unit factor, one mole calcium bromide is at the denominator while 199.88 grams is at the numerator to cancel the given or the unit moles of calcium bromide. By simplifying, by simplifying and doing the operation, we can obtain 0 0.5925 grams of calcium bromide. Let's have the example number 3. How many atoms are there in 8.91 grams of gold? For the solution, the mass of gold is equal to 8.91 grams gold is divided by the molar mass of gold. At this point, the unit grams is cancelled and converted to moles. To convert the number of moles to the number of atoms, we need to include another unit the Avogadro's constant, which is 6.022 times 10 raised to the power of 23 gold atoms per mole of gold. So by simplifying, we have 2.72 times 10 raised to the power of 22 gold atoms. Now, let's have example number 4. How many moles are there in 0 0.35 grams of butane? To get the answer, let us start from calculating the molar mass of butane. A compound with 4 carbons and 10 hydrogen atoms. From the given solution, we get a value of 58.12 grams per mole for the molar mass. Because again, you need to get the individual molar mass of carbon and hydrogen to get the total molar mass. For the next step, or step 2, the quantity of butane molecules is equal to 0 0.351 grams of butane divided by the molar mass times the Avogadro's constant. Looking at the solution, only the number of molecules of butane is left as the unit. By simplifying, gives the answer of 3.64 times 10 raised to the power of 21 butane molecules. So just look at, just look at, by looking at the solution, you will know the process. From the examples given to you, we can extend the previous diagram into this diagram, which is a helpful tool in conversions that involve the amount of substances. Note that mole as a measure of amount of substance links the quantity of particles and mass of substance. To sum up, Conversion of number of particles of a substance to its mass and vice versa involves the incorporation of Avogadro's constant and molar mass as the unit factor. So that's why we need to know the foundation before we proceed to the complex one. One must be cautious in doing the unit factor method in order to properly conceal the units and correctly perform the conversions. And we have now the references for further readings. And thank you for listening.